Hi there, and welcome to Virtual Storytime at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you sing the hello song with me? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to Storytime at the Library. Today we are talking all about winter. And I have the perfect wintry tale for you today. It's called The Snowy Day. This is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats, and it is a classic hanging out in the snow story. Let's find out what happens. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It was covering everything as far as he could see. Oh, wow. Do you see all that snow outside? I love that feeling of waking up and there's a beautiful blanket of snow outside your window. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Isn't that exciting when you see a pile of snow that's probably taller than you are, where they've piled up all of the snow to make a path? It makes a great pile to climb on or slide down. I bet Peter's going to do some of that, huh? Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Can you walk with your toes pointing out? Let's see. Look down at your feet. Can you make them point out? Then he walked with his toes pointing in like that. What about with your toes pointing in? Let's point them in. Can you walk with your toes pointing in? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Hmm. What do you think made that third track sticking out of the snow there? I wonder what it is. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. If you'd like to see what other awesome adventures Peter gets up to in this book, you can check it out from our library. We'll put a link down below so you can check it out. Peter has had some fun in the snow, and now it's our turn. I'd like to pretend that we're riding on a sled. We're going to sing a song about a little blue sled and do some motions together. Follow me and I'll tell you what to do. First, we're going to get in our sled and we're going to bump up and down like this. Can you bump up and down with me? Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? Next, we're going to make it snow in our little blue sled. Can you make the snow fall down like this? Let's see your hands go up and twinkle back down with a little snowfall. Snow's falling down in my little blue sled. Snow's falling down in my little blue sled. Snow's falling down in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to wave to our friends. Can you wave to your friends and our little blue sled? Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? Good job, friends. Give yourselves a round of applause. You did a great job with that song. It's time to write. You can grab a pen and a piece of paper if you want to follow along. You can also trace the word in the air as I'm writing it. And just remember, any attempt at writing is a good attempt. So anything you're doing here is going to be practicing those pre-literacy skills that you need when you learn how to write in school. Let's get started with the capital. Hmm, what letter do you think this is? It's an S. Next, we'll move on to our lowercase letter. Hmm. And N. 
N mm, sound. We've got a circle here. That's an O. And our last lowercase letter, W. S N O W. Snow. Snow. Whether you love winter or you hate it, it does stick around for a while. We've got a few more months of winter left, so we might as well sing hello to it. Will you sing hello to winter with me? Hello, winter. Hello, winter. Hello, winter. Winter's here today. Someday, winter will go away and it will be springtime. All the snow will melt and the buds will start popping on the trees. It'll get nice and warm out. And on that day, we will sing goodbye to winter. Some of us might want to sing goodbye to winter right now. Let's try it. Goodbye, winter. Goodbye, winter. Goodbye, winter. Winter, go away. We can say hello and goodbye to all kinds of winter things, can't we? What are some items that we see in the winter time that we could say hello to? Hmm, what about mittens? Sometimes we wear mittens on our hands in the winter time, don't we? I'm gonna make a little mitten shape with my hand. Let's say hello and goodbye to mittens. Hello, mittens. Hello, mittens. Hello, mittens. Mittens are here today. Goodbye, mittens. Goodbye, mittens. Goodbye, mittens. Mittens go away. Friends, that was so much fun. But unfortunately, that's the end of our story time today. Will you sing goodbye with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you in the next one.